How many Earths can fit inside Jupiter? What about Saturn or the Sun? Today we're going to find out by cramming Earth after Earth into massive space objects. We'll start with tiny dwarf planets and work our way up to monster black holes that make our entire solar system look like dust. Hit that like button if you're ready to discover just how small we really are. Let's start with good old Pluto. Yeah, the planet that got demoted, poor guy. Pluto is so small that you could fit about 150 Plutos inside Earth. It's like trying to fit a marble inside a basketball. Ceres is the largest object in the asteroid belt. Basically a giant space rock with attitude. It's got a diameter of just 584 miles. You could fit around 250 series size objects inside Earth. Europa is hands down one of the most exciting places in our solar system. It's covered in ice, but underneath, a global ocean that might harbor alien life. About 50 Europas could fit inside our planet. Titan is straight out of a sci-fi movie. It has lakes and rivers, except they're made of liquid methane. The air is so thick, you could literally strap wings to your back and fly. You'd need around 23 Titans to match Earth's volume. Our moon plays a major role in stabilizing Earth's tilt and tides. Without it, things would get a lot more unpredictable. The moon is about 1 50th the volume of Earth. Pretty impressive for something so small. Mercury is basically a giant ball of metal getting roasted by the sun. Daytime, 800 degrees Fahrenheit. Nighttime, negative 300. Talk about extreme weather. Earth is about 18 times larger than Mercury by volume. Venus, Earth's evil twin. It's almost exactly the same size as Earth, but the surface is hot enough to melt lead, and it rains sulfuric acid. It's too big for a little dome. Mars, humanity's backup planet. It's got polar ice caps, the largest volcano in the solar system, and maybe, just maybe, microscopic life. Mars has about 15% of Earth's volume. You might be wondering why we started with Earth. Well, that's because things are about to get much, much bigger. Kepler-22b was the first planet we found that might actually support life. It's 600 light years away, so we're never visiting. Neptune has the fastest winds in the solar system, 1,300 miles per hour. That's twice the speed of sound. Getting caught in a Neptune storm would literally tear you apart. Neptune could hold about 58 Earths. Uranus is the weird kid of the solar system. It spins sideways like a rolling ball, and its seasons last 21 years each. Fun fact, it smells like rotten eggs because of hydrogen sulfide in its atmosphere. Saturn, the show-off of the solar system, with those incredible rings. Those aren't solid. There are billions of ice chunks moving at thousands of miles per hour. Saturn could hold around 764 Earths. Jupiter is the king of planets. It's more massive than all other planets combined. Jupiter could swallow about 1,321 Earths. That's over a thousand Earths just gone. Our sun, the star that makes everything possible. But in cosmic terms, it's just average, a cosmic middle child. The sun could fit about 1.3 million Earths inside it. Now things are getting truly massive. This time, we're dropping the sun. Pollux is what our sun will become in about five billion years. If you think the sun is big, Pollux makes it look like a marble next to a basketball. Betelgeuse is a ticking time bomb. It's going to explode as a supernova, and when it does, we'll be able to see it during the day from Earth. If you replaced our sun with Betelgeuse, it would swallow everything out to Jupiter's orbit. Stevenson 2 to 18 is estimated to be around 2,150 times wider than our sun. At this scale, Earth doesn't even register. It's like comparing a grain of sand to a basketball court. And now, the final boss. Tun 618 isn't a star. 
It's a super massive black hole, and it's absolutely terrifying. Tun 618 has a mass of about 40 billion suns. That's more massive than the black hole at the center of our entire galaxy. If you fell into it, you'd be stretched into spaghetti long before you reach the event horizon. How many Earths could fit inside Tun 618? The answer is, it doesn't matter. Numbers become meaningless at this scale. Billions, trillions, it's beyond human comprehension. Feeling overwhelmed? Just remember, you're on a tiny blue dot in an endless universe. If that blew your mind, like, subscribe, and tell me, which space objects surprised you most?